Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your favorite chess journal YouTube channel. I hope everyone is doing great. And let's look for, let's play a uh, 10 minutes blitz game. Uh, I think most of you are enjoying the blitz game that I'm playing for you guys here on this chess journal YouTube channel. This guy is again an intermediate level player. As you can see, the stats here. Uh, against d4, they played knight of cx. I have been playing the, you know, London system for a while for you guys. Let's play the main line today. Uh, d4 and c4. All right. So by playing d5, this is the martial defense. Queen's Gambit declined martial defense. And what do we do in this kind of thing? We 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 can consider playing a lot of moves. Uh, capturing is being the one. Also, we could consider putting the knight here. But if we put the knight here, the capture, then we can play e4. And that's going to be a thing. We could also consider putting this knight here, knight f3. Let's do that. Let's go for that one. Knight f3. I mean, uh, uh, capturing the knight is the uh, more like a simpler version of the martial defense, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, bishop f5 is like, yeah, okay, development, as well as they are looking for this one. Let's develop our this knight as well. Notice that we are keeping the tension. And knight b d7. <coughs> okay, let's put uh, pressure on this pawn as well as this pawn. Remember, uh, in Queen's Gambit, we often talk about this when the bishop leaves this square, then this pawn is weak. Now they're playing fast. And can we take any kind of advantage off of it? Because uh, this pawn is now very weak. I mean, like, we could consider capturing, but that's going to uh, speak in favor of them. So let's rather push this pawn, tag the knight. So probably the knight is going to come here. Yeah, that's what they did. And uh, this pawn is guarded. They can't go here. I'm double checking. Let's just. Should we do that? Then our queen will be running probably short on squares, right? Okay. Okay. This is interesting. Now let's go for it. Short on squares, but they got a. Our, our bishop is back here, so if here, uh, there's a line. Uh, I, I can barely remember that's called the queen trap line. I mean, going here and then uh, capturing this pawn, as far as I'm concerned, is not good. Yeah, they have gone there. Yeah, uh, because captures or they have re repetition, right? Yeah, so that's going to be a draw. So yeah, let's come back here on A6. We don't want to draw. So knight takes um, b2. Okay. Okay. Uh, I didn't think <laughs> I didn't think about that one. Uh, hang on a second. What if we put our knight here? And attack this knight, right? What do they have? Uh, if we play knight b5. Uh, this one, does it work? It doesn't work because we have this one. Check. What else? Uh, maybe bishop back? If, but 
hang on a second. If we shop back, then we have this push. Yeah, it looks interesting. Let's go for that one. Calculation. Oh, man. I've wasted a lot of time. Already. Oh, what if uh, they just simply pull, put the knight back here? Then this pawn is weak, right? And attack this pawn. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Okay, what is that move? Did they forget that their knight is on pre? <clears throat> or probably they thought that they, they are gonna be a piece down. So stop bothering about it and keep attacking this guy. By the way, how have you guys been doing? Hopefully everyone is doing great and thanks for tuning in today and thank you very much for all the subscription, uh, the comments and the views and if you're new to this ch channel, please consider supporting it by subscribing and also watching my other contents. Um, what do we do now? Uh, this light square bishop is dead. So let's wake it up, wakey wakey. Also putting a defender on this knight, uh, just in case. And let's dive in the middle with our knight. This is a little threat. So they gotta be very careful. So this game has turned uh, into a very interesting one, but they, again, uh, I think they're missing our moves. Uh, if you're an intermediate level player, you should always think about what your opponent's uh, latest move is doing, or possibly can do, and is not doing. So we are now uh, being a piece up and also an exchange up. So, as you can see here, we are already five points up. And uh, so this. This. Okay. Um, okay. Can we save the night? I mean, this is the threat, right? Currently, it's being guarded. Okay, let's attack their light square bishop. That's uh, staying in our camp, so we are running short of time. Uh, that's the problem with uh, blitz chess. I cannot think much longer. Uh, also, I cannot explain my thought process. So they are uh, after our knight. Hmm. Okay, we have this capture, right? Queen. See so if they capture here. Okay, now we can. Oh man. We have this one. Okay, uh, have I allowed them any kind of counterplay? <sighs> not yet, not yet, okay. A bunch of captures. Okay, they have this check, but... So they have attacked our weak pawn. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta let this one go. Let's... That's why development is a priority and... Uh, because of all these attacking opportunities, I, I actually was not putting uh, a lot of focus on development. Uh, let's keep uh, rolling this pawn. 
at least they don't have a checkmate fortunately so they had this one and we can save our bishop yeah go here I need to activate my rook this rook is currently dead good thing is that our knight is here uh, you know staying chilling out in their camp and let's keep on pushing this pawn oops I go there man oh this is an interesting game indeed What is our weakness? They've got three pieces here around our king, but fortunately our rook is, uh, this other rook is defending this rank and this bishop is defending this weak square. So probably this square is our, need, need, need to be guarded because if this bishop is gone, imagine that, I mean, it will be lights out. Uh, let's push, keep on pushing the pawn. Maybe they uh, they have this check. Does it work? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. So they are actually guarding this square here, promotional square. But we can push the pawn further up. Uh, uh, let the knight stay there, keeping an eye on this square. Uh, that thereby we are being uh, gaining a piece or gaining material now how do I activate my this rook okay let's play a4 uh, sorry h4 okay did I again misplayed this I guess not okay but still let me Put this rook here, maybe this is a thing someday or one day, and this is a thing as well now because of this <coughs> placement, rook placement uh, against their king, and they have already fallen for that. Okay, uh, go there, here, here, check. Okay, let's go that. Let's do that. Check. So he's after this pawn. But we can grab this one, right? The knight is on pre. If the knight captures this one, we have a queen. Oh, wow. So what, what is it happening? Uh, I mean, all, all of their pieces are falling apart. So yeah, oh, that was a good game. Uh, the Queen's Gambit declined uh, martial defense. Let's quickly review it. Uh, D4, D4, Knight of 6, C4, and then D5. Now we enter into martial defense. Here, uh, among uh, three main moves, uh, I prefer, actually, I, I play all of them, but Knight of 3 is probably the modern way. So uh, bishop f5, knight c3, and here we placed our queen here, b3, uh, pressuring here, also this one. Now I think this is a mistake, knight b6, and notice that uh, instead of keeping the tension or capturing it, we just pushed the pawn, attacking the knight. Knight jumped here in the middle, and we captured their uh, unguarded pawn on uh, b7. Uh, rook was attacking our queen, so we put. Notice that we we didn't capture this pawn because had we uh, had we done so, probably they would have some kind of like perpetual. Uh, and yeah, uh, also this one, uh, you know, had the queen ever considered going back there, is is being trapping. So yeah, that that would have been a drawn game. So we don't want that. They captured our this. Uh, on 
uh, you know, being guarded by their rook, rook, but we put our knight here, and it took me a bit of time to found this move, because uh, honestly, it's been a while that I uh, that I played the martial defense, and you know, you need you need to remain updated with your openings, uh, practice them uh, often uh, with other players. But as I said, I, I have been into like the London system or Jababa London system most often, or more often, which is why the Queen's Gambit declined or the uh, D four C four main lines are being less played, and that's uh, that's a fact for taking a longer time, taking a longer time for me to find the move. This was a move, and uh, <coughs> they played E six, and you know, a capture. I forgot that we put our knight as a blockade of the rook's eye, and now we are being material up. They're looking for development, and here I'm gonna stop uh, here. And this has been an uh, excellent game. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe, share this video among your friends and family members. And until the next time, take care of yourself. Bye bye.